Kanna. Today I'm going to be telling you all about Okta, the friendly travel chatbot for kids. You may be wondering, who am I? I'm a traveler, I'm a coder, I'm the founder of Okta, and I'm in grade four in Singapore. I love traveling because it's amazing. I come from a family of travelers, and so far, I've been to 44 countries and 66 cities. I even have a Facebook travel show called Zara's Travels. I'm also writing a travel book called Scotland to Singapore, which plots my adventures all by train from Scotland to Singapore. But my friends didn't always enjoy traveling. My parents are global travelers. They have been all over the world and know the best places for kids in all of the cities I go to. But my friends were bored because they, or parents, didn't know all of the best places for kids. I dug a little deeper. I found that they were always standing in line at places like Legoland and Disney World. They didn't understand why a museum or a historical location was amazing. And they didn't even know what kids in that city did for fun. And while all of this hullabaloo is happening, more families travel than ever before. There were one billion tourists in 2017. And while adults get personalized recommendations and discounts and websites, somebody, whoever that is, clearly forgot us kids. Not one travel site has all of the information for kids in one place. TripAdvisor, Timeout, Clue, Kayak, all of these places are good, but they all have something missing, and none of them are fully focused on kids. That's too bad, because traveling is amazing. Travel is about discovery, exploration, and adventure. There are 1.9 billion kids in the world underneath 15 years of age. That's a big number. I don't want them to be uninspired by traveling. Do you? Here's why this matters. Traveling makes the world a better place for you and for me. We understand each other and our differences. We learn about each other's culture and history and we make new friends and build connections. In my school, United World College, being a global citizen is one of the top priorities. We're taught to respect each other and treat each other with curiosity and be a good global citizen. So that's why I created Okta, a friendly travel chatbot to help cool to help kids find cool places to go while traveling. Here's why Okta is amazing. She's an amazing travel chatbot made solely for kids. She's awake 24 seven anywhere on the globe. She has all of the information in one place, attractions, play areas, cool kids, the weather. She tells awesome jokes. And soon, she'll talk in different languages and even have information on the events that go on in that city. How does Okta work? First, you choose a city that you want to explore. Then, you get to see epic places in that city and fun facts about those places. Finally, you get to meet some cool kids in that city. Let's zoom in a little bit at Cape Town. If you choose to explore there, Okta will recommend the Castle of Good Hope. She'll tell you why it's awesome, which would be a little bit of a brief history on the place and, um, and what to do there when you go there today. She'll also tell you the address, the tickets, and the timings. Finally, she'll also tell you the weather. Okta also
also tells you things that matter only to kids. For example, I love ice cream. Mmm. So in New York, Okja will recommend that you go to Momofuku, people. Or my brother loves tinkering. So he would definitely want to visit the experimentarium in Moscow. You also get to meet some cool kids that live in different cities. For example, meet the cool kid Sasha, who lives in Islamabad. She could tell you that one of the amazing local foods to try in Islamabad would be jalebi. Or you could meet the cool kid Alexi, who lives in San Francisco. One of his favorite places to be in San Francisco is his school, the alt school. Now, let's take a peek at what goes on behind the scenes. Drum roll, please, for some tech talk. My backend language of choice is Python 3. What I code on is Django. For my database, I write all of my data in Google Spreadsheets, push it to SQLite, and then Okta reads in the data from there. For code versioning, I push my code to Bitbucket with git commits that classify what I've changed or added or removed. For deployment, when I'm testing, I use my local server or my laptop. But otherwise, when I'm pushing it to the real world, I use Heroku. For bug tracking, I use Bitbucket. Here are some important concepts that you will need to know while programming a chatbot. How you, how you store your code, like dictionaries and databases how you implement your code, like functions and classes, the connection between the front end and the back end, how you parse your intents, and how to write a git commit that makes sense. Hold up, though. There have been some hiccups, and this is what they taught me. Building a product is not always straightforward. You may think it's easy, though. But in reality, it's a whole cycle of up and downs. For example, Okta's first version was a messenger chatbot on Facebook. But Facebook was really slow in approving chatbots because of a scandal. So I had to re-architect the back end and make Okta a web bot. I also learned that you have to be flexible and agile. It is going to be a long path, and you can't let everything get to you. One of the other things I learned is that it takes a team. Even if you're the most independent person on Earth, you can't do it all. I have two amazing coaches, Jonathan and Rohit, and a super content editor, Allison. Now, Mommy is going to pretend to be a kid and we'll have a demo. Mummy? Yeah. So Mummy's going to Okta.ai. She's going to click chat with Okta and sign in through Google. I chose Google because most schools use Google as their Gmail interface. Okta gives you a personalized hello, sometimes in different languages. Looks like Mummy's chosen to explore Hamburg. She's checking the weather, it seems. How I get the weather is that Okta, in her database, has all of the cities in the world and their latitude and longitude. What Okta does is that she sends the latitude and longitude to Open Weather Map, which then gives her the weather. Okta formats it in her own jazzy twist, and voila. Oh, looks like Mummy's chosen to wander the city. Let's check out the attractions. As you can see, there are many attractions to choose from. Ooh, Mummy's interested in the Maritime Museum. Why is it epic tells you, tells you what to do there and why you should go there. 
She'll also tell you the opening hours, the tickets, and now she's going to go back to the menu. Looks like she's chosen to find some cool kids that live in that city. The cool kid is Finn. He gives a brief description of himself, and then you can ask him a question. Like, what are three words you need to survive in Hamburg? He'll give you the answer. You can ask Finn another question, like places he loves in Hamburg, and he'll tell you that. Looks like Mummy wants to go back to the menu and change her city, as it is easy by the click of a button. Looks like she's chosen to explore Singapore. Let's try wandering the city. Looks like she's going to check out play areas. Many places to explore. Mummy is interested in McRitchie Reservoir. Now she's going to go back to the menu. Looks like she's bored, so we'll hear a joke. Why did the son go to school? Hmm, we don't know. Oh, wow, to get brighter. Ha <laughs> ha! Does Mummy want to hear another one? No. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Okta. How do I switch back? Uh. Um, can you please switch back to my presentation? Oh, thanks. Okay. So, we got some kids to test Okta. Cousins, friends, Classmates, we asked them all for user feedback, such as, what didn't you like about Okta? Or how would you improve Okta? And many more. I created a survey with all of these questions on SurveyMonkey. For the question, were you inspired to visit other cities? Only a couple of people said nah, and lots of people said yes. And for the question, what did you think about Okta's personality? Tons of people said that she was fun and friendly, and hardly anybody said that she was boring, which I think is awesome. The comments were especially useful. We got some, er, I saw this bug comments, which I need to fix ASAP. I got some, could you improve this comments? And I got some, oh my god, I totally love Okta comments. One of the things that I noticed was that kids kept on trying city after city after city, which told me that they really enjoyed chatting with Okta, which I think is seriously amazing. I have big plans for the future. We have lots of cities, Many cool kids and still rising, and Okta's on a website. What's next in store for us? My goal is to reach one million kids with Okta. I've already gotten users in my class, and soon I'll have users in my school. Then I'm going to reach out to all the schools, like with travel clubs. Then. I'm going to put her on the Lonely Planet Kids blog. Plus, I'm going to add events to Okta soon. I have future plans, such as to make Okta pop up as a widget on, on TripAdvisor, Kluk, Kayak, and all of those other websites that we saw earlier. Then, I'm going to put her on Facebook again. Then. I'm going to implement her onto Google Home and Alexa, which means I'm going to have to make Okta talk. Soon, people should be allowed to book tickets through Okta. So keep traveling, folks. It's good for you and it's good for the world. And if in doubt, chat with Okta. Thank you. Thank you very much, Zara. A very impressive, very impressive discussion. Do we have any questions for our esteemed speaker up here on the stage? We have a lady down there. We'll have a microphone to you just a moment. Uh, I just Thank you, ma'am. Moi, the best 
speech and presentation I've ever heard. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, how and where did Octagon start it? What was the idea and the moment that made you start this? That moment where I heard from my friends that they were getting bored and that moment where I realized that all of my, that everything I knew about coding could be put to use to solve this problem. I'm really happy that you got started with it. Thank <laughs> you. Any more questions? Anyone else there today? We have a lady down here. Hi, um, first I want to say fantastic presentation. It's nice that you featured Singapore because I'm from Singapore. <laughs> nice. Yeah, um, I just want to know like end to end, how long did all the coding and product iterations all take the whole process from the start to where you are right now? It's been one and a half years since I started Okta. Not bad, very good, one and a half years. Good progress, good progress, very good. Thank you. Okay, anyone else before we move on here? Lovely. Okay, please, one more round of applause for a very talented young lady. Thank, Thank you. you very much.